I don't know how the peels are still on. I mean, three wheels. Oh god, they're gone. They're gone. Oh my god, I almost smushed a peel. Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, in case you didn't know, our giveaway for Forza Horizon 4 wraps in only a couple of days. There are new ways to enter every single day, so go check it out. There's a link down below. I hope you enjoy the Unimog in Forza Horizon 4. It's ridiculous. Say hello to the Mercedes Unimog in Forza Horizon 4, guys. This thing is the biggest vehicle ever in a Forza game, and the thing is ridiculous. It actually only costs 100,000 credits, so it's pretty good value. It's pretty big, <laughs> to say the least. I like how last time we went and we built the PLP 50, which is about the size of this tire. Now we're building this. Yeah, they're a little different. <laughs> okay, so um, there is something kind of strange about this. So if you go upgrade it, You've got all your normal stuff. However, you do have quite the engine swap. So let me show you what you got. You got the normal engine, which is which is pretty good and powerful, and it's 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 great. You got a 12.8 liter straight six turbo diesel with a thousand horsepower. Or you've got this, the Iron Knight engine, which is again a 12.8 liter straight six turbo diesel but with 2,400 horsepower. And it costs 400,000 credits. It's about the same price as a Lamborghini. We're gonna go and do that anyways. I guess we'll leave it all-wheel drive for now. Body mods, front upgrades, we've got this very cool, like, exoskeleton on the car. So instead of a roll cage, it's on the exterior. We've got a second Mercedes bag. Rear, we've got a couple different options. We can remove the bed or we can add a spare tire. We've got 425s in the front, that's what I like to see, and in the rear, 425s in the rear as well. Did we get some HREs for this as well? So last time, when we built the peel, we tossed on 5-inch HREs, and that was good. 24-inch rim. They don't even look that ridiculous. I guess we won't change the rim size. We got 20-inch rims, that's fine. Other than that, though, I think we'll make the, uh, the Unimog- oh my god, look what it does to the power when we toss the transmission on. Or the top speed. Okay, well, there you go. Braking, oh my god. So the brakes on the Unimog must be garbage. We take it from 4.3 to 6.6. .6. Weight reduction? Wait, how heavy? A Unimog 16,000 pounds with our new engine. We can remove it down to 12. It's not bad. It's actually like the same weight as almost like a Gurkha. Not terrible. We can't actually upgrade this engine. Not only are we driving the biggest car ever in a Forza game. We are also driving the most powerful car ever in a Forza game. We can, in fact, paint the Unimog. No way! It paints the whole bed. Oh my god, we could paint a bright orange Unimog. We could paint it yellow and match our exoskeleton. <laughs> it's just a floating roll cage. This thing's so cool. Wait, is there... No way! I was just about to say, I'm like, there's no rear wing we can paint. And I, and I click it, I'm like, there's no way that's the bed. It's the bed! Yeah, one part of me wants to be like an arctic camo, one part of me wants to be like a normal camo. I had no idea this was so sick! 10 gears! Okay, it says we can do 181 miles an hour, or 182 miles an hour. We've got a, a 2,400 horse- Oh my god, it revs to 3,000 RPM. The Unimog's pretty big. <laughs> it like, it fills basically an entire lane. This is very different to the peel that I drove last time. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> it's insane. I wanna go do a drift zone with this. I know it's not rear wheel drive or anything. Ah, there's a danger sign. Let's do a danger sign. I think this thing will actually be good at it. This thing is a go anywhere, do anything type of vehicle, right? So my thought process is, why can't it jump off a big cliff and try to jump as far as possible? What could possibly go wrong? Here you go, oh, oh, it's about to get very wet. 590 feet. What a beast. You know, you know how when you play Forza Horizon 3 and you're driving around in the water and like when you hit the water, your car goes and it like slows down, right? Well, if you're driving like a Unimog or like if you saw the video where I used the Porsche McCann, they just don't slow down in the water. They drive like normal because they're so lifted up and they're like, they're, they're purpose built for this, right? That's what they do. Go to the island. We could try. Let's try to go to the island. Yo, can you just bully the AI? Like if I just, ciao, oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, all right. And Fireproof Cargo made it worse for him. Okay. 
Guys, I've had a problem. <laughs> Yo, what up, Fireprof Cargo? Please like and subscribe. <laughs> I love my new chat thing. I can just drive around being like, please like and subscribe. He's like, impossible. <laughs> Yo, I see something little here. Goodbye, Minnie. Be gone. Yo, you can full on bully AI. Fiat, goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's gone too. All right, coming through. Splish, splash, oh my god. I'm just saying, this thing weighs 12,000 pounds. This hitting the ground would make such a noise. Like, just even jumping and landing like that is like, boom. That'd be so hefty. Oh, no, 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 we're gone again. We're gone again. You know, you know how you do boat docking? This is called peel docking. Oh, okay, well... We should probably be in a thing first, DJ. <laughs> this time we won't fall through each other. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's trying. Oh. Wait, did he get respawned? Wait, he just sort of fell through. Yo, could I just drive to the island in this? I'm just gonna drive to the island. Hey guys, I'm on my way. Wait, is this the island? Wait, is this actually the island with the barn? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did I... Wait, I just drove to the island. Wait, this isn't the right island. Wait, is that the island? I think that's the island. Oh. Now in its natural habitat, we observe the peels. At the local watering hole. Oh, and in comes James Bond. <laughs> this game's amazing. A race. Who? Who has that horn? Which one of you did that? Fire Pro it's Fireproof Cargo. He is the one with the Windows XP horn. All right, DJ gave us a race all the way over there. <laughs> all right, here, boys, I'll help you along. Here, DJ, don't worry, I got you, bro. No, sorry, we're good. That's the fastest peel ever. <laughs> DJ said I have got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, while you're all here, uh, please like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I, oh my god. Alright guys, it turns out the train is more powerful than my car. Train just straight up murdered the Unimog. <laughs> well, we seem to have taken very different vehicles. Alright, well, good luck. Mountain foot cross country. Wait, 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 are we against AI? Team AR12 versus Team Drivatar. Actually, it's Team DJ Lime. Alright, good luck, boys. I will push the people. Those peels are gone, they're so fast. We can't get showed up by some, get out of my way. The AIs all crashed into each other, we're good. But get out of my way. What is this Audi RS7 doing? Out of my way, bro. The Unimog's got places to be. This thing is so fast, oh shit. Okay, we're up in the ninth gear doing 120. I don't know how the peels are still on, I mean three wheels, oh god, they're gone. They're gone, oh my god, I almost smushed a peel. Boys, this thing, oh watch out, don't smush the house. That is a problem when you're driving a Unimog. You will smush everything in your path. But I won a race. Come on, come on, yes. 125 grand, that is gonna help pay for my Unimog engine. Not even the car, just, we're trying to cover the engine at this point. Unimog, sorry, as Raymond calls this car, the Uni God because he doesn't actually know what this car is called. I love when James Bond- Oh my god! Wait, DJ, do that again! <laughs> Take as big of a run-up as you want. Try to hit my car, okay? I'm not holding my brakes or anything. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> he just bounces off! DJ, I'll give you a bigger run-up, okay? Come from this side. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and- <laughs> He's just like- <laughs> All right, let's let's go do one more thing with this. What should we go and do? I know it's dumb But I kind of want to see what the Unimog can do at drifting I know it's not gonna work, but I'm kind of interested a small part of me is like What if drift zone in the Unimog? Okay, I'm all messed up on the gears. I got zero points so far. Come on. Yes Yep. Yeah. this is doing exactly as I thought it would there we go. Yep. Yeah. just rip the handbrake and hope it's actually really powerful, so it sort of- it sort of does work. Oh, we gotta hit the sign. That's our clipping point. Yes! Make it six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god! Look at the finish! 11,000 points! That, um, 
Hey, I got the phrase choo-choo. Wait, 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 wait. His says something on the back. Is this a paint job? 30 minute delivery. Wait. No. <laughs> When the going gets bumpy for dominoes, they know who to call.